Hello parents hope you are all keeping well I'm very happy to announce the new website of iamthebestmom.com is now live please visit and subscribe to get information and regular updates we will be very happy to receive your feedback over the last few weeks you have been attending and hearing our expert panelists on attention to emotions and how it impacts our children family and social life If you have missed any episode please visit iamthebestmom.com We as a society might have progressed in our way of life and taken generous leaps in trying to live at par with technology but we still continue to hold on to our stigmas without trying to validate the cause for an action impulsiveness is a behavioral issue which is majorly seen with kids diagnosed with ADHD but we nonchalantly categorize the reasons to be indiscipline sugar rush excessive screen time or disruptive family life talking about adhd is not a taboo anymore it is rather wise to take notice of early symptoms and seek help the true causes of adhd are not known but key factors are genetics and brain chemistry A child with impulsivity has trouble with self-control but every child showcasing inattention and impulsiveness should not be addressed as ADHD a child can display impulsiveness due to multiple reasons not every kid is same some just take longer than others to gain the ability to stop and think before acting lack of sleep to can cause impulsive behavior as much stress and frustration young kids might not always have the right words to express what they are feeling and may not even understand why they are stressed out or frustrated as parents we need to be able to provide assistance to our kids behavior both positive and negative guiding kids through this emotional health not only builds a healthy parenting bridge but also helps them grow as happy and balanced human beings improving self control makes kids better about themselves learning about triggers and developing coping strategies can also help reduce impulsiveness a parent plays the most important role in helping child cope with any negative feelings understanding what's behind your child's frustration will help you to respond in a positive way if you want children to improve let them overhear the nice things you say about them positive parenting is the key to tackle all the problems so a very warm welcome to all the attendees uh we we have been uh, running attention to emotion for last uh, couple of months now and uh, today we are talking about the impulsiveness about the among the children and uh, why these are so important uh, some of you must have witnessed the way we have initiated uh, uh, last two three week majorly focusing on adhd and uh, today the behavioral changes so many things are happening in a very very compromised uh, schedule of it, children uh, lifestyle like there are so many thing which we have never imagined like how the child would be going through or neither we also so today possibly we are taking one more step to understand which uh, we we may see in everyday life among the children among ourselves we are so impulsive but is there a clinical line which need to be drawn at point one point of time whether we should be really careful like whether the child is in the right track or we should be taking some action to understand more in deep so today we are uh, lucky to have uh, with us dr vikas tanvi uh, sir it's a honor to have you today and uh, with dr vikas we are also having mrs radha tanvi so let me have the privilege to introduce you both uh, dr vikas is a consultant uh, neuropsychiatrist 
and Dr. Thanvi uh, is practicing at Dr. Thanvi Neuropsychiatry and Psychotherapy Center. He is a gold medalist uh, uh, from RUGHS Bangalore uh, with uh, MBBS DPM, uh, person certified OGMED coach, chairperson IPS Task Force Technology and Psychiatry, the treasurer to IAPP, NAB and EC member to IAPP, executive member IABP, and fellow World Federation of Biological Psychiatry. He is also the international member of APA. International Institute of Organizational Psychological Medicine and Person Certified Cognate Coach. Sir, uh, we'll be hearing a lot of uh, understanding about uh, impulsiveness and ADHD from you today. Uh, Mrs. Radha Tanvi, she is a clinical psychologist with MSc in clinical psychology. She did her advanced diploma in guidance and counseling and Person Certified Cognate Coach as well and a member NAB IAPP. So we are uh, under the platform of I'm the best mom. This is a community where we learn how to make ourselves uh, more beautiful with the touch points, with the emotions. And uh, we talk about nutrition, we talk about all the well-being of children and parents. So basically, this is a platform where we learn and share. So the attendees are all here and uh, waiting to hear from you. Before we start the session, we would like the attendees to participate. If you all have any question, would be loving to answer them towards the end of the session. So request all of you to put your question on the Q&A section. And before we start from Dr. Tanvi, let, let, let me, roll, let me uh, share the first poll questions to all of you. I would request all of you to participate. So what are the signs of ADHD? Whether it is a inattention among the children or when the children become hyperactive or the impulsiveness, or is it of everything put together? What is your understanding about ADHD? So, uh, so you can see the result. Uh, most 88% have the understanding this is all the above when the child is uh, showing inattention, hyperactive, and impulsiveness. Probably here, people need to understand more of impulsiveness. The commonly used terminologies are inattention and hyperactive. But what exactly is impulsiveness? I'm sure we will get to learn. So with this, I will also like to say the second question, then the subject will be more interactive. and. If we understand the parents' views, like when we understand the child is ADHD, what you have been doing so far, whether or maybe what we, one should be doing, whether the, the parents should ignore, be overcautious, or seek the expert's advice immediately. Honestly, what happens, many times we assume things will settle down in course of time, but at times it is a little late. So we could see more than 95% have already agreed, yes, this is the time to seek the advice of the expert. So both the results are available to you. And with this, I will hand it over to you. So <clears throat> today we are talking about ADHD. And specifically in ADHD, uh, we would be talking more about impulsiveness in children. Now, what is ADHD? ADHD, as name itself says, attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. So it's a condition that makes it difficult for children to pay attention and or control their behavior. It is the most common neurobehavioral disorder of childhood. It is amongst the most prevalent chronic health conditions affecting school-aged children. It is the most extensively studied uh, mental disorder of childhood. So, and so more about it, there are, uh, it usually starts before the age of seven. There are three main categories of symptoms, which are inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. The name itself says attention deficit and hyperactivity uh, disorder. There is another thing, impulsivity, which we are talking today. Now, it is characterized by inattention, which includes increased distractibility and difficulty in sustaining attention. There is poor, poor impulse control, 
and there is decreased self inhibitory capacity and there is motor overactivity and motor restlessness so what happens with these with these <clears throat> there is a academic underachievement problems within family and there is low esteem of the child okay so what is the incidence the incidence in it varies by country to country usually it is 3 to 5% in some uh, societies it is as high as 9% now <clears throat> we are talking about inattention now what is inattention the child makes careless mistakes while doing homework and uh, he is not paying attention to the teacher the teacher is always uh, taking uh, uh, telling him uh, ajay what are you doing vinod what is this shikha what are you doing why don't you listen to the class so they don't seem to listen they fail to follow through or they fail to follow through the instructions or finish their homework they would be leaving in between the parent would say hey, doctor my son starts to finish his homework and before you know he is halfway through he leaves it so also these children have difficulty in organizing tasks they avoid and such children would avoid any activity which requires sustained mental effort these children or the parents of these children will often complain he is forgetting his tiffin box in the school he is forgetting his pencil box and you know losing things the child would get also easily distracted suppose he is studying and there is say this sound outside the house and yeah what is there who is there you know i'll go and check also such children are often forgetful then coming on to hyperactivity these children would be you know fidgeting and squirming their seats like moving around and you know with his fingers and nails and all those things then the child would leave his seat when it is inappropriate is sitting in the class and he is supposed to be there in his seat but he get up he go sometimes he would not ask sometimes he would ask ma'am may i go to drink water may i do this may i do that because he just cannot sit in place the child would actually run around excessively climb you know if there is a trees and all he climb there if there is an elmira and try to climb on that the child would uh, stand on the back of the sofa and jump these things would be there so there is a, there is one uh, phrase written in the diagnostic criteria driven by a motor and this is so many times parents have told me doctor my son और माय डॉटर एज इफ देयर इज अ मोटर फिटेड इन हिम डॉक्टर इसके अंदर मोटर फिट किया हुआ है ऐसा लगता है दीस चिल्ड्रन आर ऑफन चैटर बॉक्सेस दे टॉक एक्सेसिवली इट दे फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सिट क्वाइट एंड प्ले क्वाइटली नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू इंपल्सिविटी सिम्टम्स दे आर वेरी इंपेशिएंट दे विल ब्लर्ट आउट इनअप्रोप्रिएट कमेंट्स आल्सो when the teacher is asking some question and even they have vague idea about the answer before the question is finished they'll jump to the answer they'll you know they'll find it very difficult to wait for their turns they will show their emotions without restraint they will not think before speaking they will act regardless of consequences we'll talk about what consequences this will lead to in later life and in their childhood also we we'll talk about it later they have difficulty waiting for things they want or their turns they will often intrude on parents on others conversations or activities sometimes they will come off as aggressive or unruly now what are impulsive behaviors impulsive behaviors are actions that happen quickly and seem to happen without premeditation or thinking or considering the consequences what will happen if i do this you know impulsive behavior can make everyday situations challenging for the child and people in their lives children diagnosed with adhd often engage in impulsive behaviors but there is a you know fine line between impulsive behavior and non impulsive behavior or impulsivity without adhd so all impulsive behaviors are not adhd this is for sure there will be you know they can be a part of growing up also what differentiates is the frequency uh, the number of times it happens the intensity which it happens so in adhd the impulsivity of adhd the frequency is very high 
the the amplitude or the intensity of these impulsivities is pretty high so what are we'll give some examples of impulsive behaviors like a child would hit someone throw objects when angry is like in the previous slide is jumping off from a high surface throwing papers now this can be a part of adhd and can be a part of general growing up or general part of childhood you me everyone we have thrown chalks and papers and paper planes in our classrooms uh, they would be running around in the corridors in the library grabbing material off the shelf in the store now this is a consequence they do not meditate what will happen if they pick up something now this is different from kleptomania where there is an irresistible desire to steal this is not that that just for the sake of it without in a moment it'll just pick this thing up so this leads to shoplifting also now this uh, exa another example would be interrupting or disrupting others while they are talking or working then stealing like we said grabbing materials off the shelf in a store now how to decrease these impulsive behaviors for this i would uh, um, hand over the slides to mrs thanvi she would talk more about the uh, ways in which we can decrease impulsive behaviors on to so now we have learned so many things about adhd the various signs and symptoms of adhd but a very peculiar thing about adhd is it is not visible as per se a disorder but its manifestations are clearly visible in the form of maladaptive behavior in uh, a way uh, we will call bad behavior and people around us the society uh, label as bad parenting or uh, you can call a child brat also but truly speaking the, the parents are really facing difficulties in dealing with this kind of child and they have a lot of challenge with them so let us uh, discuss various strategies by which we can control or decrease such impulsive behavior the first one is planning ahead you have to plan ahead before anything happens you have to outline behavioral expectations for the upcoming situation like you have to talk about what behavior should look and sound like and what the activity will consist of suppose you are going out for a dinner at some restaurant so you will have to describe everything uh, beforehand you can't uh, expect your child to behave very rationally um, instead of uh, giving all the instructions so suppose you are going to a restaurant talk about what will happen when you get there you will be seated you look at the menu so all the instructions should be given beforehand and you have to repeat it every time you go out you don't expect your child to uh, follow all the instructions every time and i will also specify that don't use negative statements like don't you remember that i told you so many times this will be belittling your uh, child so please try to avoid such negative statements the next uh, uh, next strategy is develop some self awareness how can you do that the very important part is when you and your child have a free moment and when you are in a relaxed mood try to find out what is bothering and what is uh, leading to that impulsive behavior help your child to get to know his or her impulsive times how it affects him and the other like your child tore somebody uh, tear somebody's uh, notebook so what uh, what how is affected how this behavior is affecting him it is uh, uh, keeping him in a bad light and uh, this other child is having some loss so try to make the child understand how can he diminish this type of behavior what alternative behavior he or she she could consider so let him describe the alternative ways to deal with it let him describe and let him differentiate also how he can deal with it so how can the emotions actually the impulsivity is result of that emotion so the child is not able to understand the emotion so let him first understand the emotion and understand how uh, understand the ways how to handle that emotion you can teach some strategies to the child like ocean breathing which is a form of uh, deep breathing only some um, uh, chanting uh, in mind 
or some just scribbling to distract himself or just he can uh, backward count also in his mind so that his impulses his uh, emotions uh, gets regulated uh, then uh, we'll also create a reward system we'll also learn to re uh, create a reward system for the child and also have your child reward him or herself make the child understand that uh, it is also very important for him or her to understand to reward herself or himself because you are going to reward any time if he is uh, committing some good behavior he is doing something good you are going to uh, reward him every time but when he learn to reward him or herself then at that moment she will be more controlled in her own right so um, without any impulsive behavior also you can reward this is called uh, basically uh, positive reinforcement and also uh, make the child learn to observe uh, also observe and understand because the child is learning right now he doesn't know what is right what is wrong so let him observe things and decide that uh, this particular behavior this particular action is uh, good to see and this one is not uh, very good to see so uh, the next strategy that we'll talk is the difference between impulsive and non and impulsive behavior that decision he has to take when he visualizes the real life example as shown in the picture which one looks better the one the child the in which in which the child is shouting or in which a group is chatting very calmly quietly relaxed in a relaxed mode so the child will try to understand that which one is more uh, beneficial for a fun activity just ask your child to draw a picture when he is very impulsive he will draw a bad face and when he is very uh, calm and relaxed so he will draw a happy and a joyful face so he will try to understand the difference between both the actions now the children who have more downtime on the or the unstructured time are more likely to engage in impulsive behavior like we say that empty mind or devils workshop so help your child plan his day so he knows what to do with himself because whenever a, a, a child is uh, given instructions in a structured way uh, he can perform well like fill it with preferred activities playing at this time video games coloring music and uh, doing his homework at particular time so the less downtime the less impulsive behavior is so this is very important uh, you have to also explain to your child that once you get to be an adult this impulsive behavior definitely going to lead to somewhat very bad consequence like uh, when uh, you are uh, you will be adult in real life consequences like you will be get fired thrown out or or may be arrested for certain type types of impulsive behavior but uh, if you are throwing things in public places hitting somebody so that is not actually recommended and yes uh, one more thing in the consequences you can make your own list of consequences that uh, if the child is not behaving well that what punishment you are going to give punishment doesn't mean that negative any kind of uh, hitting or that you are doing but you are removing some pleasurable activities that he loves or likes to do so whenever he is committing some maladaptive behavior in spite of your repetitive saying then you can just remove that uh, playful or uh, very interesting activities of his or her so that he can understand that due to this bad behavior or maladaptive behavior he is facing this consequence now exercise this is very important because studies have shown that regular exercise not only helps increase attention span but also reduces anxiety aggression hyperactivity and impulsivity exercises and any kind of physical activity like cycling yoga or uh, dancing or any kind of sports that will definitely channelize his or her extra energy into it so he'll be more calm and relaxed and accept that you will not be able all impulsive behaviors go away because uh, expecting perfection is definitely uh, not a very great thing uh, we can't uh, it is actually unrealistic expect expectations uh, expecting perfection from the child 
some children just have somewhat of an impulsive personality and while you want to make behaviors more appropriate you don't want to stop a child from being himself or herself sometimes he'll be uh, very angry sometimes he'll be calm down but then everybody can be a little impulsive at times it's not uh, necessary that in certain situation you will always be good somebody can say bad things to you you get into that impulsive behavior but then we have to make the child learn how to regulate his or her emotions and adhd is not a choice or result of bad parenting just remember that the child works twice as hard as any other child does but always gets a negative feedback from the world so please pay attention to this inattention and impulsivity uh, thank you dr vikas and uh, ma'am uh, pretty uh, much what we are experiencing in the family life and uh, you could uh, give us a real good connect so the questions are started coming and uh, before i could take up this question first of all uh, when we are talking about uh, the impulsiveness now there must be a very thin line to understand whether uh, you uh, sir said the adhd cases are maybe around 4 to 5% uh, but when we see this uh, generation z or maybe this uh, generation alpha most of the kids are uh, little hyper than what all the kids uh used to be maybe 10 years back or 15 years back now they are they are also impulsive and ma'am said uh everybody is not adhd which everybody will accept that now to understand whether the child is uh, actually it's all right like this much of hyperness or this much of impulsivity is okay or it is time to be little concerned for a common person like uh, who is not understanding the how the health or the mechanism works what would be your tips to the parents so basic thing is uh, if it is an odd behavior once in a while see and if the parents are able to you know kind of cope with that it is probably not adhd mm-hmm. uh suppose if this behavior is hindering in any uh, uh, way which is hampering his academics school life or uh, friends then this could be a reason for concern and like there was a question uh, before we started ki uh, what should we do ignore it no do not ignore it be alert so first step would be be alert and if there is a repetition of these things then seek help so if there is a adhd if you seek help they will guide you yes this is adhd if it is not adhd they'll probably see the problem may not be only with the child the problem with might be there with the parents also they are coming from work there is a pressure from boss there is a emi going on there is a pandemic going on so they may perceive it as an impulsive behavior it might not be there it might be there so best thing is be alert and seek help and uh, does it matter like whether the ch- age group is uh, a concern because the hyperactivity starts even at early age like 3 uh, year or maybe 4 year yeah, yeah that that is that is actually one very important point you have brought up see if left untreated or unmanaged adhd will not go away this is simple now what happens is when there is adhd in childhood there is hyperactivity and there is inattention so the hyperactivity will gradually child will you know kind learn to restrain the child who is jumping from the sofa probably will not jump from the sofa at the age of 18 or he will not be dancing around but the attention span remains reduced and it actually you know may deteriorate so hyperactivity will come down but inattention will not come down then impulsivity in childhood will be different like ma'am said he will tear his friend's notebook when he becomes uh, adult he might do something else which might not be very socially acceptable or maybe harmful also and there is, there are studies which have shown uh, around 30% of the children may with adhd unmanaged may go on to become bipolar disorder or any other major psychiatric disorder so we have to prevent that so what you are uh, uh, at least uh, bringing it as a alarm 
if it is not managed or not been treated well mm-hmm. this may continue and it may aggravate yes with the growing age even in the adulthood yes there are there is a diagnostic so the, there is actually there is a question uh, let me read it out yeah sir kitni is tak adhd ki problem khatam ho jati hai ya hamesha rahegi uh adhd ki problem manage ho jati hai 100% kitni age par swatah khatam ho jayegi aisa sambhav kam hai ab manage kaise hoga alag alag bachon mein alag alag tarike se manage hoga in कुछ बच्चों में आपको सिर्फ साइकोलॉजिकल इंटरवेंशन जिसे हम कहते हैं उससे मैनेज हो जाता है जिसमें हम बच्चे की और पेरेंट की दोनों की साइको एजुकेशन करते हैं हम सोशल जिसको हम कहते हैं साइको सोशल ट्रीटमेंट हम गोल सेटिंग करते हैं फिर हम बिहेवियर का ओरिएंटेशन करते हैं पेरेंट्स का बच्चों का और यहाँ पे तो कुछ बच्चों का काम चल जाता है फिर हम उनको डाइटरी एडवाइस देते हैं डाइटरी एडवाइस में किस तरह की डाइट होनी चाहिए यू नो हम इस अप्रोच को अलग अलग तरीके से हैंडल करना चाहते हैं दूसरा आजकल जैसे ओमेगा थ्री हो गया कई इस तरह के फूड प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जो कि न्यूट्राश्यूटिकल्स कहलाते हैं ये बहुत हेल्प कर सकते हैं बच्चों को अच्छा कुछ बच्चे ये हो गए कुछ बच्चों में साइकोलॉजिकल एंड सम अदर इंटरवेंशन और फिर कुछ बच्चों में मेडिकेशन होती है सेफ मेडिकेशन है अब उनके साथ में बच्चे अच्छा मैनेज कर सकते हैं और दे कैन लीड ए वेरी फ्रूटफुल लाइफ अगर आप गूगल करेंगे वैसे हालांकि मैं सबको गूगल करने का मना करता हूं भाई रिस्पॉन्सिबली गूगल करें पर गूगल करेंगे तो देखेंगे बड़े बड़े साइंटिस्ट भी कुछ लोग ऐसे रहे हैं एडीएचडी के साथ तो यू फाइंड दैट तो हर अब पेरेंट को सबसे बड़ा फियर क्या होता है जो हमने बातें बताई एडीएचडी में ये हो जाएगा ये हो जाएगा हर बच्चे को वो नहीं होने वाला है इसलिए बार बार ये कहते हैं कि प्लीज आप किसी प्रोफेशनल हेल्प को सीख करेंगे वो आपको बता देंगे हमको क्या करना है एवरीथिंग इज प्रिवेंटेड असेसमेंट किया जाता है फर्स्ट वी असेस द चाइल्ड दैट व्हाट लेवल द एडीएचडी इज माइल्ड मॉडरेट और सीवियर सो इफ द चाइल्ड इज फॉलोइंग समवेयर बिटवीन माइल्ड एंड मॉडरेट वी कैन मैनेज विद बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन थेरेपी इफ इट इज बियॉन्ड मॉडरेट लेवल दैट इज सीवियर लेवल सो देन वी प्रिस्क्राइब सम मेडिसिन टू हिम सो डस इट इज देयर अ वेरी underline of understanding let's say naughtiness among the children mm-hmm. and very commonly in in the indian family uh, the kid is very naughty now and how to terminologize or if we have to explain the the word naughtiness probably is a great student very focused when the child is doing some task of his own mm-hmm. but when it comes to being in the school environment where probably the child require little more attention and start create some nuisance now that uh, they are they actually there is a question because yeah. these are all happening in and around no, no, no. what happens is dekho mere paas kai bar parents aate hain kehte doctor mera bachcha see i am alert i am i am disturbed when the child is not naughty mera bachcha bahut zyada samajhdar hai ye har kaam samay pe karta hai ye karta hai wo karta hai are bhai kuch na kuch to problem hai agar bachcha naughty nahi hai to problem hai हमको एक्सेसिव नोटिनेस नहीं चाहिए यू नो रिस्ट्रेंड नोटिनेस चाहिए तो नोटिनेस इज अ साइन ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिवनेस इज अ साइन ऑफ एडीएचडी सो आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलीफ टू मेनी पेरेंट्स व्हेन दे आर हियरिंग टू यू एंड आई एम श्योर दे वन मोर रिलीफ आई टेल यू वी हैड अ फैमिली फ्रेंड ही वाज in army and whenever he used to come to our house he was husband of my father's class fellow and she was a doctor so when he used to come to our house he always used to call me naughty boy actually my name was naughty boy in my childhood so naughtiness is not the problem so uh, attendees are relieved the naughtiness can land to a great doctor <laughs> so sir uh, let let me uh, bring this next question even though the school activities are planned there is a structure in place Yes. if the child gets involved in the fight in classroom mm-hmm. and uh, what can the parents do sitting at home well this is the environment which is influencing the child if i have to read in this question probably in a home environment certain things are under control and yeah. in school certain things is triggering so yeah. how environment plays that uh, influencing factor we need to find out ki what was the root cause of the problem that if the child is involved in a fight with some other child 
so why are we considering that this child has got adhd probably the other child also needs to you know we need to pay attention to him also so we need to listen to both the things now the teachers and the counselor in school need to be attuned to adhd they should know or how to handle children that is also very important as a parent obviously when parents get a phone call or a diary remark so they would be disturbed but then they should sit with the counselor in the school there are good counselors in school they should sit with them discuss with them and plan out how to manage this disruptive behavior because if something has happened which is big to be sent as a diary note or as a call to the parents means something some other things have already happened so we need to address the root in the beginning not much later sir uh, there is a question from the from a remedial teacher asking is uh, ocd and impulsiveness are two different side of the coin yeah there could be some uh, common things but yes ocd usually will not be hyperactive they are very you know when i was telling i didn't mention it but now this question is where i'll tell you the parent comes and says mera bachcha bahut organized hai apni copy bahut neat and clean rakhta hai uska kahi katpat nahi hota and he is very organized his dress is very organized he is very neat and clean i get scared kahi isko oc traits to nahi hai so so they some things will be overlap but they are different things there are different things impulse is without premeditation ki mujhe to ekdam se ye judge kya kar liya ocd mein to agar if he has to do something he will keep on doing it so there is a basic difference between these two now there is another uh, question related to uh, the child uh, behavior or it says like uh, my child is uh, speaking continuously without seeking attention and uh, is it a, a excitement or impulsiveness uh, how often does it happen that's not uh, mention uh, uh, we it, have to assume if it uh, is uh, happening and without regularly then need to seek help and if it is once in a while okay fine it is okay it is once in a while and if and how long the duration is 5 minutes 10 minutes is okay but if it is prolonged then again need to because apart from adhd there are other conditions where this thing can happen uh, uh, then there is an, another the question opposite to this some tips for teenagers uh, if they are impulsive and not focused reduce the screen time <laughs> <laughs> okay so screen time now this is the time where uh, most yeah. of the children are spending a lot of screen time yeah. how But and parents, any any tips the parents need to be vigilant that whether the child is uh, actually attending the class or at the same time he is uh, involving in some other uh, kind of games and all those things the the computer the class where the child is studying should ideally be in a accessible area not in the living room where there would be lot of disturbances but yes it should be in a accessible area if when the child is doing the class you can give him apart from his class you can give him like somewhere around 75 to 90 minutes of screen time so and there are some very good uh, software also parental control software also which uh, uh, which parents can use uh, on the computer or the mobile that is there this is a necessary evil we cannot live without it but we have to you know kind of control it so the co- common question is this is a energy source yeah impulsiveness yeah. how can we channelize it in a very positive manner how can we channelize yes one thing that that was that mentioned I told that yeah. sports or any kind of physical activity like dancing cycling or any kind of exercise that will definitely yeah. going to channelize the energy Absolutely, yeah. ma'am, and uh, we believe that. And uh, for that reason, for last uh, so many months, we have started uh, for all the children, which is absolutely free of cost, a playway method of doing yoga for the yeah. children. And right. we have been doing it on uh, from Tuesday to uh, Friday, uh, two days, uh, four days a week. And uh, I can request all the attendees to register in the link, and their kids can join it absolutely under "I'm the best mom." Go, go yoga has got one another very important thing as a medical point of view i'll say it helps to you know uh, reduce the autonomic 
tone that that hyper tone that is there in the autonomic nervous system that is calmed down and it helps a lot so yoga is definitely a very good uh, uh, thing that the parents can uh, incul- incorporate in their child routine absolutely sir and uh, we strongly believe in that and we have been doing it now when when it comes to there is another question from uh, uh, okay this question is dear doctor i am often told that the hyperactivity can be cured by homeopathy uh homeopathy is i'll be very honest with you it is not my forte okay i'll okay, be very careful right, but no harm in trying right, more sir. than homeopathy i would rather say uh, there are other uh, things uh, which can in in our diet there are you know different schools of thought some school of thought will be psychological school of thought some is medicine school of thought there is another school of thought which uh, which talks about the diet the I, the the old indian system use more of whole grains use less of processed foods use less of packaged foods use more of omega 3 fatty acids which can be found in uh, diet as well as uh, uh, both the diets vegetarian non vegetarian both so these are the diets that and avoid starchy sugary syrupy things that is there absolutely sometime uh, people need to understand uh, so since uh, we we are in the domain of that we believe to pick up the safe nutrition is equally very very important in the similar way when we choose our safe food so these are all food which we are consuming in the form of nutrition so with this uh, when 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 you are going to see a child who is already having some symptom of uh, adhd or the child is having an early sign of getting into that how best the treatment protocol can be or maybe what are the ways to manage that and when the child is very young even at the age of 4 to maybe when you are seeing the child at a little elderly like maybe as a teenager so the span is maybe 10 years but does the protocol remain same protocol is different at different ages uh, earlier the intervention better it is uh, because i say this because earlier the adhd is also f- you know evolving the child is also growing up the child is also learning so earlier intervention will lead to better prognosis one number 2 <clears throat> in earlier we can do with non pharmaceutical uh, things we can uh, implement uh, nutraceuticals we can implement diet we can implement activities and all other things psychosocial and behavioral and other things when the child is of a little more age and the adhd is significant which is not controlled by other things then we go for other modalities now talking about ki how long does it last it varies from child to child and a, a case per case basis some for some it is few months for some it might be there for few years so w- what we could understand uh, and another question is it possible to do that evaluation remotely obvious question uh, with the current time yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, why not why yes. not it's possible really, the test is available i think online also that uh, this is um, vanderbilt adhd rating scale for both the parents and the teachers so whoever wish to uh, do this assessment for their child they can do it it is available uh, on google it's available pay free free hai yeah. it is uh, not copyrighted uh, it is developed by vanderbilt it is a, basically a rating scale you need to just answer whichever uh, answer is applicable to the child absolutely so when when we are reading the children it is very important to understand where the parents are and how the environment is set for them so uh, if you all have any more questions please uh, do post in here so we may take another two question before uh, uh, we can end the session today now uh, sir the current time pre covid and currently what you are seeing as this number of uh, cases has increased in your clinical practice or is it uh, as it was earlier see the incidence per se would not be much different but now parents are at home they are giving attention to the child and now they are observing the child so parents so, are available right now so now they know what is happening 
earlier mother is going to uh, some place and father is going to his office and the child is there so now they are more observant also there is a positive part to it some parents have been able to manage adhd on their own the milder forms because now they are available and one more thing to it the adhd child learns to multi sensory approach so this particular thing the that we are doing online is a kind of multi sensory he is seeing things he is hearing things and he can uh, also relate the things through this particular uh, media medium so this is also benefiting these children absolutely i think that is going to help uh, the attendees as well uh, so there is a question whether uh, adhd with epilepsy please guide how to manage can medicine cause restlessness uh no epilepsy medicine will not cause restlessness there is uh, this one question again i would uh, is a good question why so because adhd may co-occur with other disorders also if there are some disorders functional disorders in the disorders of the functioning of the brain or something so this, some of the children may have epilepsy uh earlier long back it used to be thought that uh, uh, suppose if a child needs medication for uh adhd they used to say they might actually increase the chances of epilepsy which over last few years uh, we have found it is not so much there and it can be both the treatments can be done simultaneously without affecting each other this is the questions about the parents what if the parent is also adhd or is it right to call them adhd and cannot control their impulsivity the commonest cause of adhd in children when we talk about it uh, when we say that there is no single factor but yes there is a genetic component to it so if the parents have you know kind of adhd the child may also manifest such symptoms so i'm not exactly directly answering the question but thing is yes there is a link between this so thing you need to first counsel the parent uh, educate the parent about the disorder and then to the child because parenting is also an art you have to learn how to parent a child so uh, if parent is having some trouble so first educate the parent counsel the parent and then to the child and uh, i can also suggest uh, the attendees uh, we have been doing series of uh, Uh, expert opinions and on this topic as well ma'am said very rightly the word parenting is a heavily loaded word for the generation because uh, we are many of this generation parents are in a micro set of uh, family and here the understanding and uh, dr vikas has already given a caution very carefully to use google as a advisor but yes uh, when uh, this thing is happening with our uh, children and when they require a great attention i believe the experts are in and around and probably with this pandemic time one thing we have understood as a community if this thing is happening like this hyperactivity if it can happen to most of the adult children are uh, no different and uh, it is better the experts are around let us reach out to them and have an appointment this is no more a uh, topic which is not to be discussed this is a very common thing happening and not only in india everywhere so let the children come out of it because they are already living with a very very uh, unscheduled uh, very very structured kind of life unscheduled the, the reason is what life was 8 months back and what today is absolutely we have brought something like a uh, program to them and they they are limited resources friends and everything is uh, they are missing out i'm sure it may not be called adhd but that uh, the the kind of restlessness is pretty high yeah that that could be one of the reason of showing impulsiveness so i think a lot to learn uh, thank you dr uh, vikas tanvi and uh, mrs radha tanvi ma'am and uh, thank you all the attendees and i would request all the attendees can join i am the best mom.com where they can also see this episode subsequently which will be posting in a day or two and they can also subscribe to the yoga session the nutrition related uh, tips and there are so many thing there so please do visit and uh, 
do give us your feedback and we will try to incorporate. And thank you, Dr. Vikas and Radha Ma'am, once again. Have a good night and thank you, attendees. Thank you.